Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3D ROS tutorial. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial about how to set up different UV maps within Unreal Engine. So basically what I did was I have two server options, one here and one here. So what I did was I got my server piece. Just ignore the rest for now, we'll just concentrate on one. So if we open up our UV editor, so we have one piece here for this panel and then I created another UV set for this panel. So that way we've only got one material but we have multiple options. And just to create the UV map I just went to UV set editor and copied my first one and then I just adjusted the position. So now once we export this into Unreal Engine we have one of our maps applied here when you apply the texture and to change which UV coordinate you use you can use a texture coordinate so let's just say let's create a new material So say you're importing your textures in, you import your colour in, and I apply this. So if I applied that material to this, I have this layout. But if I want the other layout, you can open that material up if you create a texture coordinate. And plug that into the UV section and go to texture coordinate index and you just press 1, 1's the second channel because it started 0 so if we set the coordinate index to 1 you see that it's changed to my other one if we set it back you'll see it changes to the other layout so you can do that but you want to optimize, you obviously don't want multiple materials for the different textual coordinates and as you see if you right click you can't make it a parameter so I was spending ages trying to figure a way around this but I finally think I figured it out so what I did was got two texture coordinates, one with a zero value and another with a one value and I just put that into an if statement so I made A 0.5 and I made B 0 I'll explain how this works in a minute so if A is bigger than B so if 0.5 I will set parameter as bigger than this parameter then we're going to use coordinate index 0 but if A is smaller than B we we'll use the first one and basically I just got a normal integer so press 1 right click uh, left click rather if you right click on it you can convert it a parameter and that way you can change it with a material instance so now we have it 0 it's going to choose that this coordinate drag that on so drag this instance on so this was our first first one but if we open the material instance up and we change the UV coordinate which is the exposed parameter here the B if we change that higher in 0.5 it's going to change to the second option so if we change it to 1 as you can see we have our other UV map and you can obviously do this for several UV maps if you're creating a texture sheet so yeah, I hope you found this helpful. It's, it makes it much better for optimization rather than just using the same textures but having multiple materials because there's no way to make the texture coordinate a parameter to change these coordinates. And from what I've seen, there's no way of changing the static mesh. So yeah, so you can just change the values within the material instance 
and then just create new instances and that'll be more optimized than using multiple textures so yeah i uh, hope this helps and uh if it helped give it a like and let me know in the comments if you have any problems and subscribe to 3d ross for more tutorials like this so yeah thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video